Welcome to Dizzy Therapy. I'm Anthony Velia, but a lot of patients call me Doc. I'm a doctor of physical therapy who specializes in vestibular rehabilitation, which means that I treat patients with dizziness, imbalance, and vertigo 40 hours every week. Let's talk. If you're someone dealing with dizziness, imbalance, or vertigo, or if you know someone who's dealing with those symptoms, you might come to a point pretty soon, what do I do next? Who can actually help me with this? Unfortunately, for a high number of people, this can be a longer and trickier journey than it has any right to be. On average, it can take about six months to get a dizziness diagnosis, and so many patients tell me about the long journey it took from emergency department to one doctor to another doctor before they finally ended up in my care for treatment. Right off the bat though, there is hope. In fact, I am personally an ambassador for the Vestibular Disorders Association, VIDA. They are a nonprofit organization that is obsessed with getting your life rebalanced. There are support groups to talk to other patients who have gone through this or are currently going through this. They support research. There are events and conferences and so much more and people like myself who are just passionate about getting more info out there. For a short and sweet answer on finding help, check out the Find a Clinician link at Vita's website, vestibular.org. You can punch in your zip code and you can find any and all Vita members who are in your area, who work in your area, who will be a great starting point. You'll find myself on there especially. Ideally, Dizziness should be diagnosed and treated with a team backing you up, a multidisciplinary approach. That's because there's no one vestibular doctor in healthcare. It's an area that's covered by multiple types of providers. For instance, I work at Scottsdale Ear, Nose, and Throat, and there we have two ENTs or otolaryngologists, and they're going to be your first stop for an initial visit and a potential diagnosis just from your story. Then with some specialized equipment, testing from a vestibular specialized doctor of audiology to determine many things about the health of your ear and brain, about balance and orientation. And lastly, you'll come visit with me, a physical therapist for the treatment with vestibular rehabilitation. This multidisciplinary approach covers it all. Now, depending on the cause, you may also want to be visiting with a neurologist, more so than an ENT. But the diagnosis should ultimately come from a physician, one of those two specialties, whether it's a peripheral issue or a central issue. That can determine who's helping best. For your rehabilitation, though, you want to be with a physical therapist who has experience specifically in treating patients with vestibular disorders. Have they taken lots of courses post-graduation in this realm? More than just like a one-day Saturday kind of thing. Are they involved in vestibular organizations? Do they have an NCS in their title? That's a neurologic specialist certification and it's very difficult to receive one of those. It covers vestibular disorders and even more in very great detail. For vestibular disorders, you also really want to see and make sure that your PT visits can be one-on-one. -on -one. For a lot of outpatient PT clinics, you might have one PT with multiple patients simultaneously. And that's fine for many orthopedic issues, but this kind of care needs to be much more attentive. Particularly balance training may need some serious hands-on care for safety hanging onto the belt around your waist. One of the easiest ways to find out if this is the right fit for you and your disorders. Ask them what percentage of their patients are there for dizziness, imbalance, or vertigo, and what diagnoses. If they see a patient with positional vertigo once or twice a week, then managing your complex vestibular migraine might not be their area. If it's 40 hours a week and covering nearly all vestibular disorders like myself and many others, you're probably going to be in pretty good hands for these complaints. Don't settle for a PT who can't answer those kind of questions or isn't so comfortable with these diagnoses. Dizziness is already such a battle sometimes just to get the testing and the diagnosis and the treatment. 
So find someone who has the experience, has the training, and has the confidence to get you stable again. To summarize, check out Vita's big list of vestibular clinicians. Visit your doctor, tell them you need to see an ENT and or neurologist, get specific vestibular testing, and get training from a physical therapist who knows vestibular disorders well. Not just BPPV, if you have something beyond positional vertigo. That is the most common cause of vertigo, and it's a fairly straightforward treatment, but that treatment has almost no overlap with the rest of vestibular rehabilitation. So, there are providers out there who want to help you and can help you. Check out all of the resources on VITA, and if you need more help, maybe you're in Arizona and I can treat you myself. I'd be happy to. But just know, there is hope out there. Thank you so very much for watching. Always stay curious about these incredible bodies that God has designed for us so well. Leave a question in the comments below because I would love to know what you all want to learn. Subscribe to Dizzy Therapy for more videos in the future. And remember, dizziness, imbalance, and vertigo are never normal. So visit your ENT and vestibular physical therapist as soon as possible so you can get back to moving freely. Have a great rest of your day and may God bless you with stability throughout your dizzy therapy.